Hey, in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how I was able to generate $50,000 the first month of my new online coaching business. Before we get into today's episode, if you give me a like and subscribe, that would be awesome. This allows me to impact more people and give this message to them, right? I wanna create more free resources for people like yourself that wanna grow and scale an online coaching business. So let's go ahead and get into today's content. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this down in three steps, make it really easy and digestible. So the first thing that I did to generate $50,000 in new business is this. I solved a specific problem for a specific group of people. So instead of trying to solve all the problems, I got really specific on who am I serving and what is the problem they're experiencing and what change do they wanna have? And that problem was I was helping online coaches create solutions and get more leads for their online coaching offer. If I can help people get more leads, they'll have more sales calls and they'll get more clients. Instead of focusing on, yeah, I do lead generation, I do sales, I do systems, I do ads, I do all these things. I got really specific and yes, my program has things that are all of those things are included, but the problem was that people weren't having enough leads. They weren't on enough phone calls to make sales and grow their coaching business at the start. You have to get super specific on who is the ideal client and what is the problem that they're solving and just get really good at solving that one problem. You don't need to have the solutions to all the problems they have. Start with just one and clearly communicate that and have that be the reason that they're not seeing success. So once you've done that, the second thing that I did to help me get $50,000 in month one is that I created supply and demand. So what I mean by this is I was able to say, hey, I only have 10 spots available for the month of January. To get into this program, you have to you know, submit your application by this deadline. And what this allowed me to do is it, it created almost this, this Harvard effect. So as opposed of like trying to sell to everyone being like, I'm always enrolling, come, come. I, I really want you, I need to work with you, which is really typical in the coaching industry is like you're actively going after people and that repels people, right? It's kind of like push and pull. Like if I'm chasing people, it's gonna push them away. But instead I was able to create this supply and demand and saying, hey, I legit only am taking 10 people and I'm not gonna open the doors again for another eight weeks. It created a Harvard effect. And when I say that, it's like, you know, if you apply to Harvard, you know, they have millions or hundreds of thousands of people People apply but only a certain number actually get in and that was what I was able to do there was lots of people that were on the calls and I actually turned them away because they weren't a good fit why I didn't think I could help them and that actually increased the desire for other people to want to apply and get into it we want to do that in our marketing you can do that by having cart open cart close or just taking a limited number of spots each month and doing that authentically and letting people know. So if you do this, let people know, hey, all my spots are gone. Cause I see all the time, I can see coaches, it's like, hey, I've got five spots left. Hey, I've got 10 spots left, but they never say, hey, spots are taken. But by doing that and saying, hey, my spots were all taken, the next time you promote and say, hey, I've got five spots open, they're like, oh shoot, last time they did sell out. So we want to let the market know that we have limited spots and when we're at capacity, tell people we're at capacity. I'll have spots open again in six to eight weeks from now. And if we keep doing this cycle, you'll start to get more people being put on your wait list that want to work with you and can even put like hundreds to $500 deposit down to work with you. All right, so so far recap, what I was able to do is I got really specific on the avatar and the problem I was solving. I created supply and demand. And the last thing and probably the most important thing was I scheduled and prioritized getting people onto phone calls to share my online offer with them. I can't emphasize this enough is I didn't spend a lot of time building a landing page, building a website, trying to like sell via email or even DMs or texting. I know that if I can get someone on the phone, I can have a real conversation about, hey, what are your goals? What have you tried? What are you struggling with? Why is this important to you? And be able to position my service and solution, AKA my offer in a way that really serves that individual. But the only way that I can really do that is if I get them onto phone calls and I spend time connecting with them. So when someone reached out and was interested, the first thing I would do, depending on how well I knew this person, is I often might have just scheduled like a 15 minute consult call. And what I did on there was just connected with them. I didn't sell my product, I didn't sell my service. I just connected to see, hey, can I actually help you? And if I could, I'd schedule a 
45 to 60 minute call where we dive deeper into the offer. I'd showcase and show them, hey, this is what it looks like when you get in. This is the you know three steps that I would take you on once you started. So it became really clear of this is what happens when I join this community. So that is a, a, a huge nugget. If you're not getting on calls to position and, and tell people about your offer, start doing that. And if they're brand new, you can have that like warm up call. It's kind of like an audition or a triage call that will lead into a sales call. If you've been talking to someone for months in the DMs or you've already been in a call or you know them, just push straight to that 45 or 60 minute call. But if you don't, have a warm intro call that allows you to connect with that user or that person before you pitch your product because they wanna know, can I trust this person? Do I like this person? And then you too can be like, yeah, this person's a good fit or no, this person's not a good fit for my offer. I need to I need to get them off the call and, and point them in the right direction of someone who can help them. So those are like the big three things that I was able to do to leverage my existing following without spending a ton of money on ads or like, you know, trying to get shout outs, all those things to grow my coaching business and generate $50,000 in month one. So if you find that useful, again, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna create videos like this on a consistent basis so that I can get in front of more people educate and just give these tools back to coaches because it can be challenging and daunting to get online. But once you have the tools and the systems and you know, oh, this is how I do it, it becomes really clear and easy. You just have to put the work in. So if you like what you saw today, go ahead and give me a subscribe and uh, we'll catch you next time.